Hello, here is equation number 25. This is a uniform magnetic field of induction B0 exists everywhere in a long hollow thin walled metallic cylinder along its axis as shown in the figure. Length L of the cylinder is much larger than the radius R that is much larger than its wall thickness D. Resistivity of this material is rho. Neglecting flux linkage with the material of the cylinder, find how the magnetic induction beam inside the cylinder will decay with time after magnetic field is switched off. So this was a long cylinder and there was a magnetic field existing and then the magnetic field has been switched off. So this drops from B0 to 0 and we need to find out how this drops to 0 or that how this decays with respect to time. So if we look from this side, then you'll find this thickness is a small d, which is very small. So that is going to look like this and magnetic field will appear outwards. So this is a simple view in side fashion. Now we know this magnetic field is going to change. Let, let's say at any time t, there is a magnetic field b, which is decaying, right? So we will find at that instant, the EMF in this cylinder is going to be e is equal to uh, d5 by dt and where area is going to be pi r square and uh, there come minus db by dt why minus because it's decreasing so that's going to be the emf now here b is instant in this magnetic field so we are counting this and we need to find b as a function of time now since uh, current in the cylinder can be written as i is equal to emf divided by the resistance of the cylinder now this conductor will have a resistance as rho L upon A, where rho is the resistivity L, the length up to which the current travels. So the current will go on this circumference, on this curved path, on circumference fashion, the current will run. So the length it is going to travel is 2 pi r. And the cross-sectional area is going to be this D thickness and the length. So that will be the cross-sectional area. So it will be like L into D. So this will be the resistance by uh, using R is equal to rho, the length divided by area formula. Now we can think about the total flux passing through this uh, cross section. So the flux will be given by phi is equal to the total magnetic field and area that is pi r square. Though we should go like integration BDA, but we can think of that this uh, R is much, much, much smaller as compared to L. So we can consider the field, magnetic field to be uniform all across this. And it remains uniform, by the way, uh, because uh, that's initially B0. So we, we are assuming it will be decaying, de decaying uniformly too. So B pi R square that becomes the flux. Now, if this device has self-inductance L and current I, so this flux can be written as Li. Now, this B is going to be uh, due to both, one, because of this decrease, as well as it's coming because of the, uh, the current that we have used over here, right? So, from here, we can write I is equal to B pi R squared divided by L. L is going to be self-inductance, right? So for uh, this, this is just like a solenoid. So self-inductance is mu naught pi r square n square l, where n talks about the number of turns per unit length. Here we can think of there's only one turn. So because uh, it's not the wire, it's simply uh, the entire conductor is behaving like a single wire. So it's like n is equal to one by l that we can substitute over here to get the l value. Now equating this equation with this, so we can write E by R is equal to B pi R square divided by L, which can be written as pi, mu naught pi R square into one upon L square into L. So that turned out to be mu naught pi R square divided by L, which gives us E is equal to pi R square getting canceled out B R L divided by mu naught. Now this E is minus pi R square dv by dt and this was BRL by mu naught, then you'll find we can bring this B downside so that's the dB by D, B and this term gets there, RL divided by mu naught pi R square dt. Now we can integrate this B from B naught value to B at any instant and that goes time as zero to T. Now these all numbers are constant which can be taken outside. So you'll find this comes out to be LN B upon B naught after putting the limit. And this minus I have shifted over here. So it's minus R L T divided by mu naught pi R square. From here, B can be calculated as B naught e raised power minus R L T divided by mu naught pi R square. 
now this r is resistance which has this expression so we can put the resistance value over here which is rho 2 pi r divided by ld after simplification we'll find this pi a and pi get cancelled out one r get cancelled out so it's like b naught e raised to power minus 2 rho t divided by l is also getting cancelled out it's going to like mu naught small r into d which could be rewritten as b is equal to b naught e raised to power minus 2 rho t divided by mu naught r into d so this is the expression uh, of magnetic field at any instant t after this magnetic field was switched off and this will decay from b naught value to zero in exponential fashion so this is the complete expression for the magnetic field which the equation was demanding so that's our final response thank you